Hey guys, Janet here, aka Game Onesis, and if you're trying to figure out how to get through your giant backlog and manage it and sort it, um, maybe it's a resolution you guys have for 2018, then stick around and watch the rest of this video to find out how to even start. Alright, so the backlog. Um, it is like the thing you have if you're a gamer, you probably have a backlog. What a backlog is, um, it's games that you started or have a strong intention to start, like you already own them, that you need to play and finish that you haven't yet. So it could be filled of, you know, retro games, new games. Um, a lot of people end up coming up with huge backlogs because of Humble Bundle, right? So if you don't know what Humble Bundle is, um, definitely give that a quick search. It's just like a way to get um, a lot of awesome games fairly cheaply. So a lot of people will be like, oh, I got this humble bundle and end up with a huge list of games. So how do you manage that? Um, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys how I've started to manage it. Um, there are actually two ways I've started to manage it. So the first way is just with um, an old school, old fashioned planner. Um, and I'll show you guys that now. You can manage it just with a regular planner. Now I happen to have the Happy Planner uh, that I got from Michaels, and you can order it online, but you can use anything or just a sheet of paper even. So um, for my backlog, I started just with kind of what am I actively playing? Obviously I could go deep and mention, you know, I don't know, all of the modern games or older games I have that I haven't finished or anything like that. But I just figured, let me focus with what's in front of me, what am I actually interested in playing right now and start from there. Um, for 2018, I put down kind of games that I intended to finish. So I played with the intention of finishing, which was sometimes can be kind of hard to figure out, right? Maybe you start a game and don't end up liking it, but um, I went ahead and just listed the games and like the start date. Now I kind of lost track of some of this information as I went along and I stopped keeping track of the start date and the end dates and the hours, because not every console or game shows you the number of hours you've played, but I just went ahead and, just to make sure you guys can see that, I just went ahead and had like, you know, I know I started Pokemon um, technically in 2016 and I was like, all right, no, I wanna finish that. So I was working my way through that as I entered 2017. Um, then I had, you know, Resident Evil and I also added like when I did um, like co-op or I played it with someone else. I know you're like, how'd you play Resident Evil 7 co-op? I just kind of shared the controller but you know so I listed that any details related to that and then um, I had all these games and then I went ahead and you know I would finish them and that kind of kept me thinking about like as I added games to my list the games that I haven't completed so I'm actually recording this before 2018 and Uncharted 3 still isn't done I'm hoping that will be done but anyway, um, so I kind of did it that way to keep myself accountable. And then I, on the side, I wrote like some ideas of like games I need to finish or that I've thought about finishing. So I had Yoshi's Island, I had Little Nightmares on there, Odyssey, Breath of the Wilds. I was like, yeah, I could finish that, except I can't. So I didn't, um, <laughs> not yet. So um, yeah, Oxen Free's on there, Love is in Dangerous Space Time is on there, but I didn't actually end up finishing that. So if you don't want to add it to your list, because you don't want to make it misleading, right? It's not games you finished, it's more like games you're playing. Uh, then you can kind of have like a post-it note or something on the sides just to kind of hold yourself accountable. So that's the first way that I have kept track of my backlog and worked my way through it. The second way is something I learned about really recently and I want to share it with you guys because it's awesome. It's a website. Um, so it's not a planner, it's a website, and it's called Groovy. So, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, what that website looks like. So all you have to do is search Groovy, that's, you know, G-R-O-U-V-E-E. -E. Um, type that into your search bar, and then it'll just pop up, and I'll kind of show you guys that myself, and we'll kind of walk through it. And, you know, when you type in Groovy, it's gonna be one of the things that pops up fairly quickly. Right, so when you Google Groovy, the first thing that comes up is track your game collection and backlog with Groovy. So it is very much designed for that is this issue. You go ahead and click on it and it brings you to kind of a home page. Now I already have an account, so my account will be there. Uh, Groovy is completely free. You can pay $10 a year just kind of for the love of it. Um, it removes advertisements, um, it gives you like access to exclusive giveaways, like a cool little badge in your profile, and a dark theme for the website. And it's also just a way for you to 
like show love to the people that made it um i admittedly don't have the like pro account or the gold account yet um but i'm starting to think i will upgrade just because they made this thing that is really useful for me um, but at the very least, you know, sharing this with you guys, hopefully you'll start to use it. Some of you guys can also become gold members and, you know, we can kind of start to support what this is because it's super cool. So uh, getting back on topic, um, there is a feed and you can have friends and everything. But for this video, I think I'll just stick to the meat of it, which is um, keeping track of your games. So if you go over to your games you'll see that you have these different shelves. So you have virtual shelves for your games. There's all, there's backlog, there's played, there's playing, and there's wish list, kind of automatically set. And you can also make your own shelves as well. So um, for me, um, I'll click on all for all my games and just kind of see what that looks like. And it's all the games that I've ever put into Groovy. I just got this account like maybe a few weeks ago. So right now it's just two quick pages. Um, I haven't put all the games I've ever played. I just kind of started this year with it. And actually took my um, physical list and made it into this digital one. So I have um, games I'm playing and games I've played, but I also added in a shelf for um, games that I finished in 2017. This seems kind of silly at in the moment because um, it's the same as the games I've played, but um, I know as I go into 2018 and in future years, this way I can kind of see like not only did I beat these games, but like what year did I beat them in, I think is interesting to look at. So I have that on there as well. You can also add games to multiple shelves, which is kind of cool. So if you look on my games I finished in 2017 list, which is hopefully gonna go to 18 games uh, before this video goes up. So on here, one thing that's cool is that I can add, like I said, I can add games to multiple shelves. So like Super Mario 64, I have totally beaten multiple times. I beat it when I was a kid, but I also played it again this year. So I count that as a game I finished this year even though it's just me replaying it. And, um, you know, I could add that into multiple shelves if I keep kind of going back and replaying it just to kind of keep track of that. Um, other things I want to show you guys, let's see. Um, yeah, so I have games I'm playing, but then I've also, so we click on the games I'm playing, I have Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Loco Roco 2, The Bridge, Donkey Kong Country Returns, I started playing that a long time ago, <laughs> it's so hard. Lego City Undercover, Lovers in Dangerous Space Time, um, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. So I have those on there for things I'm playing, but I've also tried to customize it um, to fit my lifestyle, which is something I really recommend to you guys because I think when we, as gamers, reflect on our backlog, they're huge. But I think what we haven't really figured out, a lot of us, or admitted, is that some of those games we don't want to play um, and won't ever finish and don't want to finish. So in that case, it's not really part of our backlog. It's like something else. It's just like a game we've had a history with, a game we've encountered and maybe even owned, but I have no intention of ever finishing, which is totally fine. So one way to sort through your backlog is to kind of, you know, make a list of those games, right? You can put them into backlog. You can put them into ba both backlog and playing or whatever you want to do. And then really start to be honest with yourself in regards to what you're dealing with right because i don't think your backlog needs to be every game you've owned um you maybe you just start with games you've played right there's a bunch of games i own that i never even opened um that i got off humble bundle or something else so um starting there is a really good first step and then here you'll notice i have games i refuse to finish and games that were too damn hard now by too damn hard i mean they're so hard that i can't finish them one being kid trip there's this level that's just it's such a good game like i really enjoyed this game and i really recommend it it was originally a mobile game and it's also on switch um and it's great nice platformer endless runner but um well it has an endless runner mechanic it has levels though and can be beaten but there's just like one that's level that's really hard i'm completely stuck at it so unless someone can do that level for me like i'm never gonna beat this game so for now it's going into the games that were too damn hard section of my groovy it's just i'm not gonna come back to it's just too hard and it's not worth it and i can't i can't even do it so it's not gonna be done this is no longer a game I'm playing. It's on that games that were too damn hard shelf. Now we have games that I refuse to finish. These are games that I started and I just, I don't want to do it and I'm not going to do it and it's over. So I have World of Goo. That's just a game that for me, the gameplay kind of got dry after a while and I'm like, you know what? 
I'm not having a good time with this. I'm just trying to force myself through the last 13 levels. You know what? It's l- really not worth it. Like, I would love to say I beat this game to add to my list um, for my goals because every year I have a goal to beat a certain number of games. But I'm like, you know what? I just can't do it. I'm so miserable playing this by the end. I just can't. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to finish it. I'm just never going to finish it. I'm very close, but I'm not going to do it. Boom. It's on games. I refuse to finish. Now, the Batman Telltale series, and I'll try to keep this short, but um, the long story short is I love this game. It's so, so good. But I gave it a 1 out of 5 because it's so glitchy that I literally can't play it. Um, For me, I played on Nintendo Switch, and I encountered um, several game-breaking glitches in episode... Um, it might be episode three, I think, or episode four. I don't remember which one, but um, it just stopped me from beating it. Like, I really wanted to beat it. I loved the narrative. The gameplay was great. Like, it's such a good game, but it's literally broken for me. And I could get, like, another copy or try to play it somewhere else, but at this point, it's, it's put me through so much that I'm like, you know what? Like, I don't think this is ever going to happen unless maybe I'm... No, I don't even think I can do it even if I meet someone that has the game and it guarantees that I can play it without any glitches. Like, I just can't do it. So it's in a game I refuse to finish. Um, on my wish list, you know, it's just games that I want to get or that I'm interested in. So Hat in Time is on there. And then I have, you know, once again, the games I'm playing and the games I've played, which looks the same as my games I finished in 2017 list. Um, so, yeah, um, that's basically the gist of it. Once again, Groovy is a website um, that's totally free, powered by Giant Bomb. Um, and you can keep track of your games. Um, other cool things too that I haven't totally explored, there are forums, there are users. Um, I know someone just added me as a friend uh, not too long ago. There are places that you can have discussions um, regarding the games. So kind of like, you know, post about them, have like a little social media feed about games. So this is just a really cool website that offers something that I think the community really needs and could benefit from. So I'm really glad it exists. I'm so thankful I found out about it. And um, hopefully you guys are excited to find out about this too if you haven't already known about it and can start to use this to get through your backlog and sort through your gaming collection and feel good about being like, yes, I finished these games or just kind of knowing where you stand with your collection. What games am I really playing? What games do I not care for, right? We Like I think putting these shelves, you know, these virtual shelves will really help us, you know, sort through things and feel better about like where we're at as gamers and have just ultimately a more enjoyable and more productive gaming experience. If that's something you're passionate about, right? Some people don't care about their backlogs or don't have backlogs or whatever, and that's totally fine. But hopefully for you guys out there that are trying to chip away at this massive gaming list um, can take some comfort in using this site. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Once again, I'll link it in the description. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment below. Tell me um, how you keep track of your backlog, how you sort through it, if you care, all that good stuff. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.